Hi guys, this is the apartment tour, which I'm so excited to share. Um, this is the entrance of the apartment, which gets awesome light. And over here, we've got this like ceiling rack open closet thing. Over here, we've got well, a mirror and then um, I also got like a shoe rack. Um, I was quite limited with this space since this is not really wide and then the door also opens this way but i found this this one from ikea it's yeah it's really simple and i was able just to stack a few of them together so this is perfect for this little corner here and i've got also like a little basket which this one is from artisan and um, i use this for putting all like beanies and gloves and then over here We've got a little plant. Um, this is a plant that my mom got me for my birthday last year. Um, it's really cute and I wanted to have it have like a little bit of nature down here. Uh, and then I've got a shell here, which I brought back from a trip um, in New York at the beach and um, found these like huge shells and I've been using this one to put all my keys in. That's it for the entrance. Let's go upstairs. So in my apartment, I've got this beautiful staircase after the entrance, uh, which they've kept like really old, like it usually was in the building. All the rest has been renovated. And just over here, like all over the apartment, but especially here, there's lots of white wall. And I would love to add some prints or some art here. And it's, I've been selecting a few pieces and uh, collaborating with a couple artists. So I'm excited to put that up, but it hasn't arrived yet. And so we'll do like a little apartment makeover in like a couple months from now, um, where I show you some new additions and like how I ended up like decorating the space and really, really finishing it. So come upstairs. So as you get upstairs, the first place you arrive in is the kitchen. And I love this kitchen. It's been renovated, but it's also got a lot of light from this um, window ceiling. It's an attic apartment. So um, yeah, there is some like nice sky light in it. There's like some vintage things from uh, my parents, some new things that I bought, some things that I had in my previous apartment, and then also some um, beautiful ceramic that I brought back from Cape Town. Um, and then I also got this vintage um, Italian coffee machine. She's so pretty. I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but if I do drink coffee, I like to make it a ceremony, you know? The other side of the kitchen is this really long like shelf or buffet or bar. It's not really a bar. I mean, technically you could, technically we could like put like high seats and, and eat here. I haven't tried that or considered it. Um, but I think it's a really nice space. It's not really a space, it's a bit high, so it's not a space I use to cook on, um, but it's nice to have extra space to like put things on. And yeah, I've got like a bowl with a bunch of like dried herbs and flowers, flower petals that I'm drying in here for some sorts of projects. I've got a little book, uh, I've got a fruit bowl and this one is a special fruit bowl that like has this big bowl underneath with a few holes and it basically apparently prevents from having any flies. I think technically I should put this underneath and then sometimes I use this top part for bread. It's winter right now so we are not dealing with any fruit flies. And then I've got a vase that my brother got me for Christmas I think. These are from my parents' backyard. And then this was vintage. I got this at a vintage store here in this town. And the yin and yang candles over there 
are from Cape Town. And so all of this shelving here is all like storage space. And this one over here, for example, goes all the way back there, um, which is really nice. Like I'm even able to store like big suitcases in there. I've got a cellar along with the apartment, but it's just nice to have extra space in the apartment. So this just offers lots of great pantry storage and just um, like cleaning supplies and all these sort of things. Um, okay, opposite from the kitchen, there's the bathroom. The bathroom is really lovely. It's quite spacious actually. It's not a big bathroom, but it, it doesn't feel small when you're in it. Um, I love this window up here. I like to keep it open to air it out a lot. Um, we've got a bathtub. That's a must for me. I'm a huge bath fan. I've got like my steamer, my laundry stuff, a little essential oil diffuser. And over here, I've got just the bathroom cabinet with some of my favorite products and essentials. And then I built this little bathroom cabinet shelf and there's some bath salts here um, and in a little basket with like some hair things. And then in here I've got like extra products and yeah, just like bathroom things, I guess. And then let me show you what's over here. There's this like really nice shelf, but it's not really a shelf. It's just like, it's built in. So um, I use this little wall thing to put a few other things in here. I've got a bowl with some of my gua sha's, face and body gua sha, and then also a body brush. And then I've got a few books, toilet books. Yeah, those are more like decoration pieces. I haven't been reading them to be honest, but um, when I remember, I do. When I remember, I really do. And then over here is also another essential oil diffuser, but this one with a little candle and a little crystal and then a little incense thing over there. I think that's it for the bathroom. And thank you to Squarespace for partnering with me this week. I've been using Squarespace for multiple years now to create and maintain my own website and I've been super happy with their customer service along with all the beautiful templates and design that they offer to easily create the website of your dreams. Whether you're looking to create an online portfolio, an online shop, an online member community, Squarespace has all of it for you and you can add any tool that you need according to what you want to create. Squarespace also allows you to link any social media platforms that you're on to your Squarespace website so that people can easily find you on other platforms as well. You can get a free trial at squarespace.com Chloe Kien and with this same link you will get 10% off your order of a website or a domain. Thank you again Squarespace for working with me this week and partnering with me on this video and thank you to all of you who've been using this link over the years and supporting this channel. Okay so over here this is the living room and it's very simple. Just got some candles and this is also um, essential oil diffuser. I don't put them on all of them all the time, like that would be way too intense, but I like to have one dot on every now and then. And this one's really cute with a little tea light underneath. And um, yeah, I like that it's mixed with water so it doesn't um, feel so strong. Um, it comes from Japan, but I bought it in, in South Africa for when I moved to this place. And let's go to the next part, which, oh, like before we get into the bedroom, let me show you this little art. That's, I think that's like the, the only art I have in the apartment. Um, this is like a glass made art. It's probably got a specific name, which I don't know, um, but um, my partner 
pick up these little leaves from the place. Not the place we met, but the place we first went on a walk together and then got that made. And I just think it's such a beautiful art piece that's got a lot of meaning and it just feels, it just fills that little space here beautifully. So yeah, okay, let's move on. So we are coming in the bedroom. I love the shape of this bedroom because of the beams and the attic. I was quite limited with what I was able to do in terms of like wardrobe and uh, shelves. I would say like that's the main downside about this is just that I was a bit limited with the furniture that I could get. But then this also actually made me so, um, how to say, like so careful and attentive to what I was getting and really taking measurements. And so now everything fits like perfect. And then I've used these beams to store books in the bedroom. I really like that. I think the bedroom is very like simple and plain. So I really love that, you know, the, the books just add a little color and yeah, I just like that a lot. So this is great. I'm also, I probably will be getting some like shelves that you can put on those so that I could put also books like, you know, in that direction as well. Um, yeah, that's not something I've got yet, but um, I'd love to. Um, let me show you the other side of the bedroom. Okay, so then over here, I've got like a little side lamp. The lamp is a little bit strong at night, so I might be getting like a, a lighter bulb, but I love this little mushroomy lamp. I think it was almost sold out when I got it, but I'll link it down below. And I've got like a few books that I'm currently reading in my a little journal. And then on this side, I've got more books. And then I've got also more books up here. Um, yeah, I think that's all I can say about the bedroom. I don't have bedside tables. Um, I decided to put this shelf behind the bed instead. And um, I might get like a side stool and a rug, but those will come in later along with some of the art. Let's come out of the bedroom again into the living room. This is the space where I would say I spent the most time in in the evening. Um, for those of you who watched my channel before, you've seen this shelf. I had it in my previous place. Besides that, uh, pretty much all the rest is new. Um, I got rid of all the furniture when I left and actually my brother took over that previous place that I had and he took a lot of the furniture with it, which came in handy for me. Um, and so, you know, I designed this place like pretty much from scratch. Um, I've got more candles here. This one is from Cape Town and over here, this one here I, I made with some leftover wax. This was in one of my previous videos. And then um, I love crystals. I've got like little crystals all around the apartment. And I've got a plant right there, which um, it's cute. I didn't want a lot of plants, but I wanted a, a few just to bring some nature in the space. And then on over on the couch side, um, this couch is from Vetsak and it's in the white or cream, vel uh, cream velvet and I love it. It's so comfortable. Um, we've got some like big pillows also. So whenever I watch a movie at night, it's like super comfortable to lean back. I'd like to talk about the lamp and this blanket. So I get so many questions about this lamp and about this green blanket. This lamp is from Gooby. This blanket is from Reborn in Color. I think it's sold out, but um, maybe you can be on the wait list if they restock. It's like kind of like a duvet, um, which I use as a 
couch blanket on the coffee table so i've got a lot of questions about like my coffee table and my rug the rugs from ikea couch is from vet suck and then the table is from maison du monde and um i've got like a little handmade ceramic here that was gifted to me a while ago with a crystal and so palo santo and on this table i've always got my moon journal um i got a few questions recently about what um, what's the thick book journal that i write in so the, it's called ola luna and it's a daily journal that um encourages you to write alongside the moon cycles and i absolutely love it and not only it's a great like way to journal every day but it's got the most beautiful hardcover design and so i use it as kind of like a decor piece in my home as well in here we use these drawers as like storage extra storage and also like the projector and then um, i've got like this huge wildland book which is like a big coffee table book with amazing beautiful images of nature from all over the world um, so this is absolutely gorgeous and i love having it here and then i've got like a little ceramic bowl with some sage and some more palo santo and then over here i've got a tarot deck or oracle and then we've got this this big boy over here or big girl actually because she's a lady apparently um <laughs> she's a ficus tree i got a lot of questions about this tree it's it's quite huge and it is not a tree that i got actually the girl who used to live in this space left it when she moved and she didn't move really far she just moved downstairs but she moved into a smaller space which you know that would have taken basically half of her space so she was like do you mind to keep it there like i really love her and i was like no not at all like i don't have any plants and um i love the idea of having a full-on tree in my house as long as like you know there's space for it so i like it a lot it's it's really nice it's definitely big and takes a lot of space but um I love having it here and that was also my Christmas tree this year so you know it's multi-purpose which is great and um, what else can I say about it I think that's it it's been losing leaves recently um, because it's winter and her name is Florence yeah hopefully she likes spring better okay and then um, this tree actually is the perfect kind of like room separator and then we get into my office and i love this little space it gets some of the best natural light of the whole apartment um, i brought this shelf uh, of drawers from my previous place, which I had brought already from my parents' house. So this is like super old. Um, this used, my, my parents probably had this in some of their first apartments where they lived together and I wasn't even born. So this is how old this thing is, but it's survived all these years. And um, I think it's still super cute. And it's just like a perfect kind of storage for me to store any like office supplies and camera chargers and camera gear um, I've got like a little book here and a little candle that I made um, my tripod and then over here I've got my like go-to handbags and bags and then on this side we've got Franklin our robot vacuum and this was something that I genuinely um, wasn't sure about to have like a robot vacuum but in my previous place that was not something that was possible um, because of just like the setup of everything but here because I had sold my old vacuum I was like well I need to order a vacuum again and when 
a robot vacuum was the same price as a handheld vacuum, I thought, well, this one will do everything on its own. So that's pretty cool. Let me try this out. And let me tell you, I love it. It's awesome. I don't worry about cleaning hardly ever anymore. I just press it on and it does its thing. It even mops and it doesn't, it hasn't caused any marks on furniture or anything. It even goes on top of the carpet. Um, it's a really wise little boy. And then over here, under me, we've got more office storage um, with like camera stuff and notebooks and pens. And then on my desk, um, I've always got my bullet journal. I've got a little, little candle here, a little pen holder, my laptop. And then over here, I've got my plant stand, which um, I put this like vintage pot on it. And instead of putting like live plants, I put some dried flowers in it. And I had this plant stand in my previous place. I'm not sure where it's from anymore, um, but if I find, I'll link it down below in the description as well. And um, yeah, I think, I think we've got all around my apartment. Huh, we're finished. <laughs> See you next week, bye.